Hello, my people. Now, today I want to talk about Newcastle and how he stands up to the current meta. Now, for a legend to be in meta, you need a professional team to create a comp into Newcastle to prove to other players he dominates. Just like what 100 Thieves did until they got pressured into changing it because they thought it just wasn't good enough to compete against the current meta. But I understand because when they're in a the lobby with 90% of the players playing meta and gaining the most points, you don't want to lose out on that. They don't want to throw their game by not doing the same thing because realistically all of newcastle abilities can't counter any of these meta legend abilities like say catalyst or blood on bangalore of course newcastle has this tactical to prevent getting hurt but in high level play lobbies they will prove to you how worthless that shield is they will delete it within a millisecond which basically means newcastle doesn't have any hard counter to some of these meta legend abilities hence makes him the worst legend to pick for pro players newcastle has four main strengths in pro play and the first one is playing for endgames. If you can get a new castle to endgame, your chance of winning is high. Because most times in end zones, why most teams lose is because there's just no more playable spots left, then they get angled out. But with Newcastle, no matter what piece of ear you're left to play with, you can easily make it work with Newcastle. That's if you don't get focused by the entire lobby and they break all your bars down. Newcastle's second strength is resin. His most powerful toolkit. He can res mid battle and he can res his teammate while pulling them from the line of fire which in most cases can be very useful. Newcastle's third strength is flanking. Now sometimes in high level play, holding angles to put pressure on a team is a very strong technique you'll always see in high level play. The normal legend they would use is Octane Rater Pathfinder, but Newcastle is fit for the job as well because of his ultimate where he can jump to his teammates, but it's a lot less reliable because of his long cooldown time compared to other flanking legends. So last but not least, his last strength is taking high ground. When playing any movement legend, taking high ground is the most OP thing you can do in most scenarios. Now to be honest, out of all these four strengths, flanking and taking high ground is done better by other legends. So the only thing Newcastle is left with that's useful to pro players is playing for end games and resin, which isn't really all that helpful unless you're playing really passive aggressive. Another big reason why people won't play Newcastle is because of his hitbox. Of course, you can say he has fortified makes up for his fitness, well no it doesn't. What made fortified OP back in the days was its reduced headshot damage and now they nerfed that into the ground. So big hitbox characters now are almost taking the same damage as normal hitbox characters. So when you're in a high level lobby where no one misses a shot, imagine being a big hitbox character. You'll be getting hit around cars and getting beamed from miles away, wondering if that person is cheating. But anyways, the conclusion of all this is Newcastle is nowhere near useful as yet. Hopefully Respawn is looking into this and give us a Newcastle rework in the future. Because it doesn't matter if he's the least played legend, he can still be really good, like Crypto and Gibby. Are they just gonna add Bliss to change the meta and totally forget about Newcastle? Which I think will most likely happen, Saj. Alright, that's the end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you legends in the next one.